completely radical loader. And now we're here we're doing it again at Penn Expo with his first electric machine. I want to talk to you about some of the benefits of owning an electric backhoe loader. The first is you're taking out the diesel engine, getting rid of it, putting the battery pack. So all your daily service checks, checking the oil and filters and all that goes away and you've got zero emissions. We've got Rob sitting here, he's a product promotion specialist, customer experience at Hawk. He's going to go through what a normal day would look like with operating an electric backhoe. So it starts like you normally would. You walk up to the machine, you're simply going to unplug it, put the cap back on there. It has an access panel to get to the charging port. You're just going to set that down, walk up into the cab, and just go to work. So he's getting situated in the cab. I'm going to talk to you about the battery on this machine. So the battery is a 480 volt lithium ion battery is 1300 pounds. It has 90 kilowatt hours of power, which will give you, on average, an eight hour work day of use. Could be a little bit more if you're idle, a little bit more generally, could be a little bit less if we're working inverter. It will recharge in eight hours as well. With any 220 volt three phase charging course, there's no extra charging station you need to worry about, no extra connections. Just a 223 fit, which most shops already have to that technology. So, Rob, did you start the machine yet? So, the machine. We did not hear the roar of the engine. The roar of the engine is gone. There's no smoke blowing out. It's zero emissions. So, it's very, very quiet. For Think of using this machine in urban settings, congested areas next to a home. There's there's a great deal of noise reduction here as well. But we still don't believe it at a time. Can you raise the loader bucket up in the air for us? So there you go, the machine is very, very quiet. Rob's gonna get on moving along to the job site. He's driving out to a residential area. We're gonna dig up a main main line, main gas line, natural gas. We're gonna hook up a service line to that home. He's driving along, he's thinking about all the money he's saving. Because he's not going to have to get dirty doing the daily maintenance. He's not going to have to check the oil, check the coolant. There's no belts, no hoses. This is a maintenance-free battery. It's worry-free maintenance. We've got a bin of parts and fluids over by the rough train forklift just to give you an idea of some of those items you don't have to worry about anymore. And he's cruising along on these Michelin cross grip tires. These tires have a non-directional tread pattern, low rolling resistance, which complements our electric vehicle very well because it reduces energy consumption while you're driving along. And they're very quiet, they have an aggressive grip. So you're still going to have that aggressive tread in production. So Rob's made his way to the job site. He's got the loader one now on the ground. He's going to swing around in the seat just like he normally would. Get his stabilizers down. He's going to get, get ready to dig. So what we're, what we're going to show here is, we got to the job site. We're going to start digging our trench. We're going to look for that main line and get it hooked up. And you notice how quiet the machine is there. So with that noise reduction, you can get started earlier in the day. You can work later into the night. And obviously, as we're doing it here, you can operate indoors. So he's going to take a couple scoops here, try to dig that down to the main line and then Chris is gonna finish it off, try to find that gas, get the rest of the dirt shoveled off and make some connections. So what, we're, what we have here is great benefit by getting rid of the diesel engine. While he's operating the hydraulics here, that's separate from the transmission. So we have a separate electric motor powering the hydraulics of the machine and a separate electric motor powering the transmission. So we're not having any of that, that loss of power here. It's very specific to what you're doing. It conserves the energy of the other function. So there you go guys, we got the we got it down to the main 
and uh, you can see there's great communication here, great noise reduction, zero emissions. This is the very first, the 580 EV. What do you think?